Welcome back, YouTubers. This is Cheryl with CNC RV Day Yet. For those of you who don't know our story, we traded in our things for travel. We travel full time in our RV, but we also air travel and cruise travel. Today, we are broadcasting from Celebrity Solstice as we cruise through Alaska. So follow us, the adventures of CNC. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm taking my chances along with my dreams. Welcome aboard Celebrity Solstice. Our cruise choice to head out to the last frontier. But let me take you on a tour of our ship experience through our eyes so you too can plan your trip to Alaska, the last frontier. Follow me. Our friend Tracy House, a travel agent with Cruise Brothers, helped us book this cruise to Alaska. This cruise cost us uh, like $2,000 a person, so it was $4,000 for a couple for a balcony cabin. It included the basic Wi-Fi package and it also included the classic drink package. So we are in room 1275, Celebrity Solstice, standard stateroom bath, balcony, ah, nice, A bottle of Cabernet awaits us, and here's our balcony view in Seattle, in the port of Seattle. These room keys are golden. We use these for everything, including getting off and re-entering the ship. You must have your key card with you. Saying goodbye to Seattle. We had a great time in the city of Seattle. Look at this cool ride that our neighboring ship has up on its top deck. The Martini Ice Bar is truly an ice bar. Everything is ice and it was our favorite spot to meet up as a group. This is definitely the most impressive drink trick I have ever seen. This martini flight only cost us $26 and there were six signature martinis in here, perfectly poured by the bartender, all at one shot and six different martini glasses. Isn't this the coolest? with a group of 12 wonderful, wonderful friends. 
We didn't take all the excursions together, but we met up at least once a day at one of the bars or restaurants. We had dinner together. We had an amazing time. We had most of our dinners in the main dining room, but there were multiple restaurants, including specialty restaurants. There were multiple bars, including specialty bars. There was also a coffee shop, like a European coffee shop. And although I don't drink coffee, it was one of my favorite places to hang out. And they had delicious sweet treats, yum, yum. If you book early, you got ship credits. And Charles and I were fortunate enough to also have ship credits from our daughter-in-law, who has been working with Celebrity for a very long time. So we were super lucky. And we used some of our ship credits besides gambling and the casino. We used them for one of the specialty restaurants. We had a date night at the Tuscan Grill. Not only was the food really good, but look at our view, it was just spectacular. I could have sat here all night. This specialty restaurant, Blue, is so chic and beautiful. And at the entry, the wall is filled with white roses. It's so pretty in here. There were various shows every night. We usually had the 7 p.m. Um, dinner seating so that we could catch the 9 o'clock shows. We truly enjoy shows and if you're not on a cruise, you pay anywhere between $30 to $75 to $100 for a show. So having them included in your cruise, I definitely take advantage of all the shows. There is some amazing artwork on the Celebrity Solstice, but the main feature of the Celebrity Art Collection is this artwork by Nancy Friedman. It's an entire room, including the ceiling, the floors, and what I specifically loved about it is the sound of the crickets, because back home in Seba, we have crickets at night, and it was like such a soothing feeling coming through this room and seeing the artwork and listening to the, the sounds of the night. So I thought this was like the coolest artwork ever.
very little about art, but I do know Romero Brito's artwork because Charles introduced me to this artwork when we lived down into Miami area because there's some big pieces in different areas of Miami and his artwork stands out so wherever I see it, I can recognize it and as soon as I saw it on the ship, I recognized it. It's some beautiful, colorful artwork. There were all types of games in the central area of this ship. I love to come here and hang out and see what was going on. Our George took part in a lot of different games, including the crossbow. Look at him on this crossbow. And he did really well. In fact, he won a medal. Yay, George. Oh, ten that was these complimentary necklaces with the charms and they would give out the charms like twice a day and of course this is to lure you into their jewelry store and it's such a beautiful jewelry store and their advertising certainly worked because look what Veronica bought area is the first and only outdoor area on a cruise ship with a half acre of real grass. You can play croquet and bocce ball up here. There's also live music. You can bring your blanket and just throw it on the lawn and hang out. It was a little bit chilly for that on most days but it was truly a beautiful area up here.
good thing with an Alaska cruise is it's really easy to get a spot. But Although we didn't take advantage of it, there's a great spa on the ship and a huge gym. I had planned every day to come to the gym, but I, I really didn't come work out. But look at the views from these machines. I know you could spend a lot more than your designated gym time in this one. took the glass blowing class up on the top deck of the ship. Look at our friends Renee and Richard playing peekaboo. This is totally amazing what these guys have created for our last day cruising. Check this out. Pretty impressive. These chefs and bakers, I think I'm saying it right, have totally outdone themselves. What a wonderful world. Eyes, sky. Secret night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned to next week's video. Our first stop, Ketchikan, Alaska, Alaska's first city, and the salmon capital of the world. <laughs>